Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this video I'm going to be giving you my reaction and a quick recap on the fan stream that we had earlier. First and foremost, thanks to everybody who joined us in the chat. Um, it made the afternoon just go so quick and it was a real pleasure speaking with you all in there. I would just want to get out there straight away that to be fair, I think that was probably my favourite fan stream. The main reason... Pretty much all of the figures, although like we now know sort of what to expect because of through the Space Bridge and obviously JT Prime giving us the lists of the names of figures, it's actually really nice and really refreshing to get a fan stream where, to be fair, until the morning we hadn't seen any of the figures. So for me that was really refreshing, it was really good um, and it just went so, so fast. They did seem to be speaking quite quickly at the beginning, maybe to try and get through all what they had to. So I'm going to just gloss over a couple of the things and I apologize. Apologise for anybody who is interested in it, but it's things that I would imagine most of my viewers aren't. It was the Beyblades. So they have, of course, collaborated with Beyblades. They've got two packs. They've got an Optimus Primal and Starscream, which, yes, I agree, completely just seem to be a very strange uh, combination of the two. But there's also um, Optimus and Megatron. I realise I just said Optimus Prime before. Primal and Starscream, Optimus Prime and Megatron. They also discussed and showed again more artwork from the vinyl, which I'm in two minds whether to get or not, because I really like a collector's edition thing, and I think it does look pretty good, to be honest. Um, and then at the very, very end, they also showed off the RoboSend Megatron, which is incredible, but again, I think for most people, maybe 95% of people, let's be honest, it's out of our price range, but it did look really good, and it was very, very interesting to see it interacting with, of course, the Optimus Prime from the flagship review. You. Right, on to actual figures that were revealed. Now, this one was the only shame, and the reason for that is this appeared early hours of the morning in the UK, and of course, I already did a video on it. So, there is the back of the packaging. Let me make sure I get this going the right way. So, there he is, Steel Jaw from the 86 movie, and that is a speaker. So, again, to replicate the scene from the cartoon, and also just want to, I suppose, reiterate to you what I've heard or what I've read. Um, and I don't know where I've read it, but I'm pretty sure I have. That that is the one speaker that is going to be coming with Steel Jaw. The second speaker is going to be coming with Ramhorn. And again, it's just a big accessory to bolster up the price to make it, rather than the little cassettes, to bolster up to core class, which I'm more than happy with. I think it looks great. And I'm just really pleased that we are now, of course, getting the rest of Blaster's cassettes. Cassettes, just to confirm, yes, it does fit in Blaster's chest, which I think is great. And there is the packaging. So that was the core class. Uh, then they moved on to um, some deluxe. I'll probably do, but I was going to say Bumblebee to the end, but I won't. I'll go in a minute. So this to me is completely new. Although I know of War of Cybertron, I didn't play the game. This is the Decepticon Soldier. So this is Studio Series Gamer 08. It is a retool. You'll be able to tell. That's the wrong way. It is a retool and um, basically recolor, obviously, of Barricade. So quite a basic transformation. They did mention, I will get this the right way around, I do apologize. If you wanna see these images without me doing this, you can head to TFW 2005. Uh, there it is. Uh, they were talking about the color scheme that apparently it was more true to, is it the first scene in the game? Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, guys, because I haven't played the game. I like the look of this. Um, I did actually like the barricade mold. I know that a lot of people didn't. For me personally, it was fine. Yes, it was a bit blocky, um, but I liked it because it was a new mold. And at the moment, we, we don't seem to get many completely new molds. Yes, we get loads and loads, of course, of um, not just the redecos, but we get partial retools, which there's nothing wrong with. It's great. But this, for me, really enjoyed it for exactly the reason that it was what I said it was. Right, the next deluxe figure, this also got leaked just beforehand, but I was telling people to not check the stream, do not basically go and have it, sorry, go check where it was online. This is your Studio Series 86 Bumblebee. He looks really good in robot mode. Now, I don't want to poo-poo all of it. I do think he looks great, but that alternate mode for me is not really a Volkswagen Beetle. It looks more to me like Bumper. Um, but I do like the fact, and again, they alluded to it, that there is, of course, an Autobot logo on the front and on the roof, so that when he transforms, you've still got it on his chest, which looks great. The head sculpt is fantastic. He's got a gun. He looks 
it looks really good to be honest um and as i say i'm really pleased that they didn't just go and they kept saying this as well no parts forming so it is different of course you can see it in here it is different to the netflix one will be the one that everybody thought it was and indeed that was the fake mock-up i saw a couple of weeks ago so that was your deluxes your voyager this one was of course going to be a no-brainer we knew it was coming and i'm a big fan of this figure to be honest and the usage of this particular mold so this is the tetrajet from the bumblebee movie this is of course skywarp uh, perhaps they could have had a little more uh, black paint in there uh, but you can still of course tell that it is skywarp with the purple on it again big fan of this mold it's fantastic and it is a great voyager class size i think they use the terminology beefy you really do feel like you're getting a good voyager class price point figure with this i'm a big fan of it i think it looks great and of course it will look great with all of the rest of the uh seekers okay moving on to the leader class now once again bear in mind this is obviously only studio series this again looked great i'm so pleased that this never got leaked um up until uh, I've got it didn't get leaked at all really we knew it was coming so yes just to reiterate guys this is leader class Springer so it's a partial retool of the siege one so they've given him completely new you'll see in a minute in robot modes of course there's two molds sorry two alternate modes helicopter and a car the robot's got new chest new shoulders new head and there's something new about the legs because it looks like they've covered up the gaps but I'm not 100% sure and he comes with an absolute abundance of accessories i mean they've even got everything so you can recreate that scene of course evan did the scene himself i'm trying to find a picture here with all the accessories but there's no pictures of the accessories um on the box so they've upscaled the figure they did say as well it is slightly taller than the voyager class siege um, and again it looks great and it's exactly i suppose what a lot of us were waiting for now the best one i've saved till last like they did the total total surprise was this was we knew it was coming but i had no idea it was going to be this good nor on this particular stream so this is comic book straxus uh the only other figure we've got i think is like a dark mount figure from generations which isn't really straxus uh, this is a standalone straxus mold once again it's a partial retool get this you probably won't be able to tell from this particular mode uh, but from the Galvatron Kingdom mold. It is a partial retool. You will be able to tell that much easier now from the alternate mode. Fantastic. And again, that is the same colours as he first appeared in that Marvel comic all them years ago. So impressed with this. I've managed to pre-order it already because obviously at the time of me now making this, it is available for pre-order. It is... Um, yeah it is completing not completing continuing with the comic book story um as well uh comic book sorry graphics on the side which of course is fantastic now but there's already people speculating that perhaps it looks like it was it's flames hand coming in because if it was rod it was probably more hot rod there'd be the blasters on it i don't know i wish that we did know um again it's all speculation i'm just going to now get you some pictures i think hopefully of all of them accessories yeah there you go this is an actual screenshot from the stream so we've got his sword we've got a, a movie sorry a toy accurate colored sword the blaster a wrecker's hammer um, and the bomb there where of course he says i've got better things to do tonight than die all of these images if you want to get them are on tfw 2005 or of course you can watch the whole stream back uh, they also alluded to the fact that spring is going to be in the void rivals cartoon and here we go let me show you this this is what they were showing there is the three packaged together and i'm pretty i wouldn't be surprised if that is flame flame is again another character from the transformers marvel comics universe that is still yet to ever have a toy so that would be something incredibly special if it did end up being him right very quickly then onto through the space bridge once again i'm so pleased that they do this um even though again we sort of know so you've got core class energy on galvatron watch me get all these names mixed up now um because of course we knew because we've already got the megatron figure then we've got a boulder crash redeco and re slight retool this is another core class this is going to be fantastic i love the fact we're getting all these armorizers then we're getting deluxe quake really excited for that we're also going to get of course slipstream loads of these again we knew were coming in as i was just talking about earlier on retools partial retools redecos as soon as we got windblade we knew we were going to get slipstream so again this is what i mean that's why i like the barricade it's completely new 
This is very interesting, guys. This is a deluxe, deluxe class, not a Voyager, not a Core. Deluxe class Optimus Prime. We wait to see exactly what that looks like with, of course, bated breath. And then Metal Hawk. So an update, or rather than update, a different version. They're going with a Toy Deco. So all this basically means is expect, fingers crossed, to have some actual chrome, uh, more silver. If you've not seen the Metal Hawk um, figure, the original one, sorry to plug the channel, but I've done a review of it on here. Check that out if you want to see what the actual Metal Hawk figure looks like. I'm excited for that. He's one of my favorite figures, favorite characters. So I definitely will be buying it, even though it is just a different liquor paint. Then we, we knew this was coming as well. This is, of course, a redeco once again of animated Optimus Prime. This is animated Motormaster. So these are your Voyager class figures. And then this is, again, very, very interesting. New mold, leader class. Whether or not it's going to be packed out with loads of cassettes to bolster up that leader class price point, but it is leader class sound wave. Cannot wait for that one. And the final one we all knew anyway, because as they pointed out, he's been on the back of the tidal wave box all year. So that is, of course, the use of the legacy. Oh, which one is it? Armada Megatron is now, of course, going to be Armada galvatron there they all are there great set of reveals my one of my favorite fan streams in a long long time i really do mean that really enjoyed it hope that that's covered it all for you as i said pretty much pre-orders are up now straxis is a pulse exclusive only though so that isn't available on your normal things um check it out let me know what you're going to be ordering guys i'm probably going to go with a lot of them i think they're all fantastic and as i said don't forget to get your hasbro pulse straxis again brilliant thanks very much take care